All right, well, today's Tuesday. I didn't mow anything on Monday because it wouldn't stop raining, and we weren't supposed to get any more rain last night or this morning, but we did. We got a lot of it, so everything is completely soaked. Um, I cannot afford to be behind two full days, so I am going to try to mow whatever I can. I have a few lawns that I push mow on Tuesday mornings, so I'm going to do them. A bunch of my Monday lawns just don't drain well enough. They're going to be holding water. I'm going to kind of hop and skip around today between Monday's list and Tuesday's list and get done whatever I can that I can knock off my list. As far as my back goes, I went to a chiropractor this morning. Um, as I mentioned before, my wife's a doctor of physical therapy and uh, physical therapists are not fans of chiropractors and vice versa. I don't know why that is. I believe it's because they both treat the same things in different ways and one claims their way is better. But either way, my wife uh, is a fan of this chiropractor. It's about the only one that she likes. She even sends some of her patients there. So. I went to him and he did a few tests, did some decompression stuff. I feel a little bit better, not too much. As soon as I sit down in this truck or sit down anywhere, a lot of it comes back. Um, he believes what I did was rotated my hip in a way that there are nerves and muscles that connect from the bottom of my spine to come down and come across the front of my hip and go down my leg. And he believes that I rotated my hip in a certain way that I am pinching. It is pinching those nerves, um, causing the shooting pain. Uh, he says that it's an extremely painful thing. And he can see why I'm hurting so bad, which I agree. He's right. It is an extremely painful thing. But he believes that seeing him a few times over the next two to three weeks should be able to take care of it um, he did put some vibration pad thing on my back and then down my hips and then he did some decompression um, so which wasn't too painful when he did it I really thought it was going to be it really wasn't um, so I don't know we'll, we'll see what happens I, I hope it fixes it I hope it heals it I have to be on a plane for two and a half hours and like an hour layover and then two hours again to go to the GIE uh, sitting on a plane that long would kill me right now there's no way I could I could take it um, and then uh, and then I have another vacation planned the day after Thanksgiving where I'll be on a plane again for a long time so you know I got to get this fixed before then I definitely need to get it fixed before plow season if I had to sit in a plow truck right now for 10 12 hours or longer at a time plowing uh, it, it would be it would feel like the damn end of the world to me but I'm hoping that's not the case I did buy a plow people have asked me um, I did buy a plow for the new truck I'm gonna have it put on the first week of October I bought it brand new um, I bought a Western Pro Series contractor grade straight blade 76 with and I had an extra um, attachment added on to it um, which is the back blade edge. It sits in between the front cutting edge and the blade itself and it angles back the opposite direction um, right right through Western so um, I'm having that put on like I said the first week of August or the August the first week of October and uh, I will uh, so that's what I got and it'll be on then um, I paid under five thousand for it, just under five thousand. But right. so that's the deal. That includes installation. It includes the add-on back blade. It includes everything. So, and I, uh, I'm having it done the same place that put the step bars on the truck and put the leveling kit in the front end of it. So that'll be done. But anyway, that's the update of my back and. So the first two lawns I'm going to do this morning are lawns that are small that I push mow and I don't believe they hold any water at all. So the one I've been doing for years, the other one, this is my second year doing it and I've never experienced water there. So I, I think that they should be fine and that's what I'm going to do. So um, yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. So.
I don't know what I will film today, but I wanted to update you guys on the plow because everyone's asking. I wanted to update on my back. Everyone's asking about that. And uh, thank you very much for your concern. That means a lot to me. And uh, the well wishes on my back. Um, that means a lot as well. And thank you guys very much. You know, for guys that just watch my videos that don't even know me, you know, some of you do know me, but um, other than watching my videos, some of you don't even know me. And to, to give me your well wishes like that, that's, that's really cool. Um, thank you again for that but I don't know let's see what this day has to hold I put up two videos yesterday and uh, one of them making that leaf bag for the uh, that goes on to grass catchers and the other one um, doing the hydro system on the Great Dane so we'll go from there I could always be the one you want to call when it's cold outside I will always be the one that's right here standing by your side Open up your heart and let me in I promise not to break you I promise I'll be all, all that you want So let me in, in my heart Okay, well, the main reason for showing this I, there there wasn't very many good camera angles this is a new account that i have this year this set of apartments here and then in the background you can see a white building that is our local vfw and it'll show me in a couple minutes mowing the back part of that but the main reason i wanted to show this say was i made the uh, mistake of throwing the gator mulching blades back on this great dane yesterday uh, when I was doing some mower maintenance, getting ready for the week. And I don't know why. I, every time I put them on, I realized real quick that it just... Uh, this is the back side of the apartments, by the way. But I realized real quick that it, they do not like this mower. Um, I used to have a really good set of Gator mulching blades. But these are the G, G5s or the G6s. I think they're the G6s. They're over three inches wide and they're over a quarter inch thick. They are just a very heavy, thick blade. You can't kill these blades, but the problem is they put so much restriction on the belt system that drives this deck because they're so heavy and they're so big, they're, they're just a lot harder to turn. I honestly don't believe they turn at the same RPMs as the other blades, but um, I sped this up, obviously. I, I really would like to find a good camera spot to uh, put for mowing the back of these apartments um i don't have to bag this i just do because there are so many windows along the back of this building it's just faster easier and safer to either mow it with the walker or to throw this grass catcher on real quick the grass barely grows back here so i'm not picking up that much anyway and uh it just makes it a heck of a lot easier and safer this is the back part of the vfw right here and uh you'll see i mean everything was real wet but with the regular high lift blades that I usually run on this, and they are the ones with the short length wingspan on the back side of them. I've showed them in the past before, a lot of high lift blades. It has a long lengthwise um, wing that comes straight up on the back of them. This has just the short one, so it doesn't keep the grass in the deck as long. It cuts it and gets it right out of there and this mower just loves those blades i can mow wet grass uh dry grass the thick grass tall grass anything in between and it handles it just fine but um those mulching blades that i put on here they're just not like the last set i had on my old great dane and they uh i end up double and triple cutting everything today i got back home i took those blades off and i threw them threw them off to the side um just so that I don't put them on again. I'm going to get rid of them so that they're not even there tempting me to put them back on again. But they, uh, they're they just not meant for this mower by any means. And like I said, I double and triple cut everything. You see all the water coming out of it. I mean, this grass is very wet. And I don't take very much off this at all because uh, all those buildings are owned by the VFW. But this back building here to the right is owned by the Kiwanis Club and they drive up the side of the building there and through the grass over to this all the time and they destroy the grass so nothing ever grows here it's the same guy it does it all the time but it so it barely ever grows there so i usually mow this high and uh, barely take any off to try to get it to come in thicker but 
So that's the case with that. And uh, that first part of this video was uh, last week, obviously. And this is today. I end up never recording anything last week. Uh, so many issues with my back and uh, a lot of pain. It just took a lot to get through every day. So I'm definitely doing it a lot better now. I've been to the chiropractor multiple times and uh, I'm doing a lot better. The pain's still there, but I'm in far better shape than I was.